There was a fatal based event about two years ago where a man machine, this time a bogger, went over an open edge. The industry got together in a bit of a consortium to discuss around ways to protect operators and ways to adjust our operating practices to prevent another occurrence of a fatal base outcome. With the restricted visibility of operating a load ebb, especially when you have your bucket crowded back, full bucket, oversize, you do have limited visibility going forward into a level. The benefits of having the bollards is you can actually hit the bollards and come to a complete stop, which will stop you going down the open void. Uh, we grab the, just the stem of the bollard, and put that into the hole with two people, and then grab the, the triangle frame and place that over the top, making sure it's on the level on the ground. And then you grab your bolt and put that through the holes of the bollard and that A-frame, and then you uh, screw it up with the bolt. As part of designing these bollards, we had came up with a CAD-based drawing which set minimum standards required and finite engineering controls to ensure that the poles, one, go together effectively, two, when the pin is put together, they lock solid, and three, can be readily manufactured anywhere in the world following the same design process and the same material selection. Through our extensive testing process, we found that these bollards needed to be sufficiently strong in order to stop a 50 tonne 517 with a full bucket of dirt weighing approximately 17 tonnes. That is a lot of mass to be moving at 12 kilometres an hour to come to a dead stop in basically zero metres. These poles had to go through rigorous testing to get the right mix of strength versus weight versus easy capability to deploy in the underground environment. Steel bollards themselves are made of 150 mil tubing, which is a steel carbon composite. So it makes them lightweight to be able to move with two people but strong enough to be able to stop a fully loaded loader from approaching the edge. And after rigorous testing from the team here, especially at Nova, this concept was proven effective to stop a bogger in second gear, hitting it at full speed. The feedback we have from the crew underground is they are very easy to install. They feel safe with them in place. Any inattention or anything like that, they know they will stop.